Hi there, so welcome back and uh, let us continue with our lesson. And uh, this is the starter package that I have already opened. This is the Android Studio project and I have already added to the course lecture. So you can just download it from there and uh, just open it and uh, you should see that particularly we have a two main activity as well as the main view model. So we have a main view model and a main activity class over here. And also we have a one layout which is of activity main. And inside this activity main, we have a one image view. So that is to show the particular image. And uh, so let's go over here. And I hope you guys can import this particular project and I, I think you will not have any problem in it. So we, after you import it, uh, what we will do is we'll go and get started. So let's go and try to download the image from the web page that I have particularly set up over here. So this is the image that I will be downloading. And uh, let's see that how we do it in a traditional way without any of the trading or without of uh, the Kotlin Corotini. Because this course is based on the Kotlin Corotini. And uh, we will try to see it in a, in a default way that how we can, uh, how we used to do previously with, uh, without using the Kotlin Corotini over here. So let's get started over here. So first of all, let's create a variable and I'll just say val and I'll just say URL, which is of URL. And this comes from java.net. And inside this, I have to pass the particular parameter for the URL. That should be this the image URL. Just copy this one and let me go back and uh, set it over here. So I'll just open the double inverted comma and paste it and make sure that I add the HTTPS. And uh, let me create uh, another variable over here, val, and I'll uh, just say you and then see connection. So val connection, which is of uh, equals to URL dot open the connection. So I will try to open the connection and I, I'll cast it as a HTTP uh, URL connection. So we have the connection over here. And after we have a connection, let's say that the connection dot to input so basically we'll try to get the input stream so i'll just set it as a true over here and the next is connection dot connect so let us try to connect over here and uh, now let's try to create a variable of int uk input uh, strem let's say input stream and i'll get the input stream from the connection dot get a uh, input stream so i'll just say input stream from here so we are getting the uh, input stream over here and next is let's try to convert this particular input stream to the bitmap so i'll just say val bitmap and that should be of equals to the bit bitmap factory dot decode the stream and that should be of the input stream that we have to pass over here so this should convert the our input stream that we get from the our server and convert it to the bitmap. And uh, since we have a bitmap, now the final what we can do is set the uh, bitmap to our image image view. So what is the image view that we have? Let's go over to the activity and let's copy this particular name and let's go back to the activity and just set it over here and set the bitmap so let's set up the bitmap over here so that's it and so we have a simple code over here that should uh, download the particular image and set up the image to our image view so what i will do is i'll just go and uh, run the application and uh, let, let us see that whether we have any error in this particular startup and let us open our log cat over here and uh, filter it out by your package name and also by the error because we are interested in the error over here. And if you want, you can just filter out by your package name too over here. And if you take a look that we have an error over here and it says that the connection that connect has some exception. So if you go up and let's get the actual exception error so it says the cost by the android.os.network on the main thread exception. So this basically means that we are trying to perform the network operation in our main thread. So 
Android, whenever you launch the application, it's basically a main thread that is trying to do anything. So anything that you are launching on your Android screen, so let's say whenever you are running your first application, it does everything in the main thread. So it's not a good practice to block the main thread. So if you have uh, some thing like uh, getting uh, data from the database or trying to connect to the your API or the web service, it's not recommended that you do these tasks in your main thread. Because the main, if you block your main thread, then that's particularly going to uh, be a heavy task and it's going to uh, do some, uh, whenever you try to do this operation, it's trying to go, uh, go and block your main thread. So when the main thread is blocked, that means your UI get suspended. And when the UI main thread of the UI gets suspended, your app is going to crash after at least of five seconds. So that's the main thing over here. So we should not do any heavy tasks on the main thread because the main thread is particularly for your UI. So all of the UI things that you see on your screen are dependent on this main thread. So we should not do any of the tasks related to the networking or your database operation or doing some heavy calculation. So all of these things should be separated from your main thread. Otherwise, you will get this particular exception that is of the networking on the main thread, which means that you are doing some heavy tasks in the main thread. That is not recommended. As I told you that it will make your UI unresponsive. So if your UI is unresponsive, user will basically go and uninstall your application or it's not going to be a good experience for your uh, user, right? So what we will do now is uh, we have uh, created this uh, simple code over here and it's trying to download, but it's going to fail because we are trying to do it in a main thread. So we have to move it to the back background thread and uh, without using a Kotlin coroutine. So how we can see that, how we can move it to the background thread. So let's do it in the next lecture. So in the next lecture, we'll create a, a background thread and uh, we're using async tags and we'll move this code over there. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.